Hi, welcome to Misty's Country Cooking. Today we're going to make dessert. We're going to make us some no-bake peanut butter oatmeal and chocolate cookies. Here's my ingredients. I use two cups of sugar, a cup of brown sugar, a cup of white sugar, half a cup of milk, a third of a cup of cocoa, half a cup of butter, two-thirds cup of peanut butter, two teaspoons of vanilla, and three cups of oats. The first thing we do is I'll take and I'll add my sugars. And we're going to add our cocoa and then we're going to blend these up real good Mix them up. they're nice and blended there's no clunks chunks in there you know with your brown sugar we're going to add our half a cup of butter and our half a cup of milk we're going to blend that up really good together. And then we're going to put it over here on the stove. And we're going to cook it until it comes to a hard boil. When it comes to a boil, we're going to let it boil for about a minute. And then we're going to take it off and add our peanut butter, vanilla, and oats. This over here and we'll get it to cook it. And I'll be back here in just a few minutes to show you what's going on. You want to stir it frequently so that way it doesn't stick and you just keep it good and blended until you have a good rolling boil that you cannot stir down. Okay, we got that going to a boil now. We're just about there. Let it boil for just a bit, but a second or two longer. Yeah, I can't make it stop boiling. Okay, I'm going to put my peanut butter in on the stove. You're not supposed to cook your peanut butter, so... You just want to put it on there good enough to get it good and melted. And this way that heat melts it without cooling your chocolate off too much. And you can use quick cooking oats on this, but I like to use whole grain oats. I like to use um, not instant. It gives it more of a texture to it. It's not so soft. All right, get that. Put it in there good. And then we're going to take this off the heat now. Finish blending that up real good together. Put our two teaspoons of vanilla in there because you don't want to cook your vanilla. And let's put our three cups of oats in there. Good and coated. All right. Press these oats coated here. And we're going to take and drop them by spoonfuls on our full paper. And then we'll let them cool for however long it takes them to harden. And these cookies are a lot better when you let them set for two or three days if you're able to make that many, but mine usually don't ever make it that far. Okay, here. I'll be back after a while to show you these after they're hardening and give us a good taste. And until then, we'll see y'all later and y'all come back now, you hear? Alright, we're going to give these cookies a taste now and see how they turned out. Mmm, those are good. 